Hey, welcome to a Wagoneer Wednesday video on Slay's Garage. Today's project calls for working on the inner wheel structure on my 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. More specifically, installing a patch. On last week's Wagoneer Wednesday video, I cut into my quarter panel on my 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer project and discovered some rust in the inner wheel structure. I proceeded to cut out that rust and now it's time to create a patch and weld it in. I started out by cutting out the rust, followed by taking some measurements for my new patch panel that I was going to create. After I got those measurements, I went over to my new piece of metal in the garage, marked it down on the new metal, and got to cutting. After I got that new piece cut out and went back over to my Jeep, I finished up with some fine tuning. Put a slight vent in it so it could match the body line of the inner wheel housing structure. Next, I took my grinder and I grinded some of the metal down to bare metal, followed by doing the same thing with my little patch here. Since it was still daylight out, I proceeded to cut out some of the rust that was going down the inner wheel housing structure. And I ended up pulling the Jeep inside because of the daylight. Man, this thing is rusty. Here's how we're looking so far. I had a friend come over and help me weld. Watch me weld so we wouldn't catch the Jeep on fire. It's always a risk. Gotta be super careful, especially with the driver's side because the gas is on at the driver's side. Overall, the patch doesn't look too bad. There will be a round two of welding to fill up all of the holes that are still needing to be filled. Patch doesn't sit perfectly flush. I messed up, that was my fault. But at least it'll be hidden, no one will ever see it. I mean, it's not all that bad. If you made it all the way until the end, I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for Wagoneer Wednesdays at 7pm where I upload a brand new video on this beautiful 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer project. There's always something to do so, so much ahead of me. Way more than I can handle if I'm being honest. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.